Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to completely remove a printer from your computer and then manually reinstall it. If you're having a problem installing a printer, sometimes you'll install one that just won't print. Um, it's a good idea to go ahead and completely remove it and then try to install it manually. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is open your printer list. Now I'm going to pick this Epson 90. First thing I'm going to do is remove the printer. So we're going to delete it from the list. And then I want to remove the driver. I'm actually going to go into Server Properties, Drivers. I'm going to find the Epson Stylus Pro 7890. I'm going to remove it. Tell it yes. You'll, as soon as you see it's gone from the list, you remove the driver from the computer. So I'm going to close this, and then I'm going to right click again and select Add Printer. I'm going to select Next here, and I'm going to tell it Local Printer Attached to the Computer. Now you can tell it to auto detect for a plug and play printer. Um, I don't actually have the printer here, so I'm not going to do this because it will not find it. But if you have it connected, you can do this, and it should go out and find it on its own. I'm going to select next here and I'm going to leave it on LPT1 and hit next. I'm going to select have disk, browse, and then I'm going to browse where I actually have the driver. Now, if you have the CD, you can browse to your CD-ROM. I'm going to go into my C drive, Epson. I'm going to go into the 7890 driver and hit open and OK. Now we have the printer we can select from the list. We hit next. Here you can select if you want to make it the default printer or not. I'm going to leave it at no. You can also name your printer whatever you'd like it to be. I'm going to hit next here. I'm not going to worry about sharing the printer at this time. So I'm going to hit next. And since I don't have the printer, I'm not going to print a test page. But you can select this and when you finish the program, it actually will print a test page for you and then finally finish and continue. Now this will take a moment sometimes. But this window will go away on its own whenever you're whenever it's done. Now that the window goes away, we notice we have the 7890 installed to get on the, pr on the computer. At this point, all you have to do is configure your printer and your program for sublimation, and you're ready to go. If you have any problems or questions with this or anything else we sell at Condi, please give us a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2, or send us an email to support at condi.com.